welcome to my youtube channel in last video i created a registration page uh, you can see here username mobile number uh, password email and security question answer uh, and uh, that data is going to store in our database okay uh, in this video i'm going to use that data to log in okay let's see let's start designing okay. Just paste a panel on it. So that we put some design on it. Okay. Basically, this project, uh, uh, this all layout going to use in my upcoming project, hospital, hostel management system. And uh, if you are new, then please go to the description for the registration page video. Okay. Put some design on it. So zero four zero zero. Here you can also select this color from there, but I already know to which color I have to use. So two five five. Next line border. Yes, colors red. Okay, two five five. Five five. This one is thickness five. Okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot that. Increase the volume with twenty four bold italic and now it's look good. Now we have to use first two levels like for the username. Username. The one is text field, and another is password field. Okay, and uh, buttons, buttons. Now change the name, edit user name. password edit text okay. edit text two hundred two hundred edit Login now. Uh, this one is project for the hostel management system. Let's write it hostel manage system. Increase the line. Uh, I don't want to change color. No, just increase the green. Bold. Not liquid. Login. Uh, there's also an button for the forget password. Forget password. another button for the registration in last video i just created a registration page where you can 
uh, for you want to watch that video then go to the our description create new account I'm just going to connect this account with okay. now you can see our uh, front end is completed uh, it look great okay. it's time to code for back end now we have to code for the back end so for the login let's go to the event action action performed yeah, you can see that before writing here yeah, we just need to import first so now import java dot sql asterisk fine i'm also going to import java x dot print dot j option fan okay now it's time to write codes on j button one perform in this first we are creating a variable and storing username equals to j text field one dot hit text string password j j password password field one dot hit text okay now we take both input field in our variable now we have to create a try catch so i can in which we are going to write the code of sql just step by step follow me class dot code name form dot my sql dot jd dot driver now we have to create connection connection from driver manager dot hit connection connection first we have to write url another uh, username and the last one is password password is one two three four five six for my database according to you uh, whatever you want you can write uh, according to your setup according to your set password okay now jdbz my sql local host host 3306 3306 project my database name is project in last video i just explained all this that my uh, my database name is project table is a student okay now you can see my table Here you can see that my username is Gaurav and password is 123456. Okay, I'm going to use to match this uh, in this okay. so state uh, statement. Statement st con create statement. Now here we have to use result set to store our data rs dot t dot execute query so 
select job from student where user name user name and and password if uh, suppose we having uh, uh, yeah suppose we having a username got up uh, we, uh, we use with where clause and if select only it select only one column from it because username is unique okay so it highly really con uh, mean uh, only contain only one column only one row so rs dot next if it does not contain anything it means that password is wrong okay so if it contains any body something went wrong with cute query it's cute i forgot to see RS dot next then it moves to the second page set is well visible false okay now it moves to which new frame where it is in this I'm going to create a J frame home if our password is correct then it moves to the home page okay let's see it visuals new home dot set visible true Else, it show an error message option pan show message wrong password okay if something exception generated then just write here error and connection now our coding is completed to design uh, a create new account already created so I just have to write some code event action action performed okay now just we have to write this this button yeah but we have to move to the registration page registration Creation. Okay. In next video, I'm going to create the forget password. How to recover? Uh, how to, to change the password? Uh, now it's time to run the project. Run file. White is border password one, two, three, four, five, six. Login here. You can see that to move to the home page, home J frame. It means our that uh, it means that uh, we are successfully login. Suppose something went wrong, run file 
if we entered the wrong password wrong username or wrong password then it shows wrong password here we want to create a new account just click on it here you can see that uh, sort of sort of comma mobile number six two zero one zero five nine six three two three five uh password is four five six sort of x thirty one at the rate gmail dot com nickname is mono okay i'm just going to create an account here thanks for registration and move to the back page here you can see that data is inserted in our database now we can use username and password for login sort of password 456 you can see we move to the home home panel so i hope you guys like my video like my uh, like my video so please hit like and subscribe button next video i'm going to create a for uh, i'm going to create a j frame for the forget password page okay the how it works just stay tuned with us uh, if you are new then please go to my last video okay thank you